is your pick for the Stanley Cup now that the season is shorter? And does the season being shorter affect your pick? Uh, it doesn't affect it. I'm going to go with Pittsburgh, and hopefully Crosby can stay healthy all year. Yeah, I think it affects my team. We always uh, start a little little fast, and then we usually uh, you know get a little tired midway through. This way, uh, the Leafs is my team, as everybody knows, God's team. And uh, this way, uh, they'll start quick and finish quick and, um, and uh, get through the playoffs and win the Stanley Cup. Maybe the Toronto Maple Leaf would be good in a short meet. Let's go with the Maple Leaf. Wow, there's only one team, the Toronto Maple Leaf, so... Uh... Got to go with him. I'll side with Bruce Richardson and say the Leafs. Well, I'd like to see uh, probably the Edmonton Oilers or the Toronto Maple Leafs, but at least we know this year the Leafs, uh, Leafs will have a better chance of uh, making 500 maybe. Uh, Pittsburgh. Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, I've been a Leafs fan my whole life, but uh, with the Tannenbaum situation, I boycotted the Leafs, so I'm an Oiler fan now, so let's go Edmonton. I have to go with the Leafs. Uh, a short season might help them, and uh, just because I have my own reasons for the Leafs, not that uh, they're that great. <laughs> I'm not really a big NHL fan, but uh, I always had a, you know, a little uh, something for the Detroit Red Wings, so I'll, I'll stick with them. I'm going to be picking the Toronto Maple Leafs. Go Leafs, go. I, I still hope for them, but it's, uh, my patience is running thin. Am I allowed to pick against the Toronto Maple Leafs? Uh, I probably shouldn't, but uh, I don't know. I, mean, I, I can't even remember what teams are in the league anymore. <laughs> I'm a diehard Leaf fan. And, um, you know, usually they're good for about the first 50 games of the year, and then they, you know, they fall apart. So maybe this year, because it's only a 50-game schedule, they might be all right. I think the Devils. I mean, you know, they went to the finals last year, and, uh, you know, they're not a lot of competition, you know, for them playing against Philadelphia and that. So I think they'll, uh, I think they'll be able to, uh, you know, get back to the finals again. Oh, the Leafs. The Maple Leafs. Got to go for the Leafs. I'll, I'll take Edmonton Oilers. I just want to see that they got a lot of young talent. So Boston Bruins, all the way. My God, to stay loyal to the Leafs. I've always been a Leaf fan, but I hope to see them there. Did you miss hockey during the lockout? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm a hockey player, hockey fan, and when uh, Saturday nights all you see on the on the TV is you know something like Dancing with the Stars or uh, <laughs> The Bachelor, then it gets kind of tough after a while. I don't watch a ton of hockey. I watch a little, but uh, did I miss it? They soured me a little, so no, I, I didn't really miss it. I'll be honest with you. I was a little mad that there was a lockout. I got to enjoy some football instead, but I'm glad that they're back on the ice. Not really, no. No, not at all. Absolutely, yeah, I like to go attend a few games and uh, we always watch here during in between races, so definitely missed it. Yeah, for sure, uh, it's a great sport. It's a national sport here in Canada and you know they should have been playing all along. I didn't realize how much I missed hockey until they actually announced that there was gonna be uh, a season. And I got thinking that it wasn't gonna bother me and when, they, when I heard that there was gonna be a season, I was like, I can't believe I lasted this long without it. So yeah, the answer to your question is, I was like sick to my stomach without it. Oh, I'm a hockey fan, so yeah, big time, I missed it. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely did. I really missed it, like you, you don't even pay, really notice it until, you, until it comes back and then you say, oh gee, I did miss it, like a, you want to see it, you're excited to see it. Take it, leave it, doesn't really matter. Uh, I could live without it, I guess. But if it's on, I enjoy watching it, that's for sure. No, I don't miss him. I don't know. I'm a. I like uh, to watch football, so uh, I don't miss him. Not really. Uh, as sad as it is to say, I, I wish I did more. But the league and the players, they all kind of let me down. I just hope they just. I just really wanted to see them play the game. That's it. Not at all. No. No. Was there a lockout? <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I like a lot of people. Kind of like, you know, maybe 85 games is too much, and uh, listen to a bunch of spoiled brats uh, got a little tedious. Oh, for sure nothing to watch for sports so it'd be nice to watch some good hockey yeah I did I always enjoyed watching a game on a night off that's for sure I watch hockey but I'm not an avid hockey fan my brothers watch hockey quite a bit more than I do and a lot of my friends I watch all sports but I'm I'm not like a, an avid have to see hockey have to see football or basketball if they're on they're on if they're not whatever ah, kind of uh, the juniors helped uh, helped a little bit but uh, yeah it's time to play again Did you 
watch any of the junior hockey? Yes, I did. Yes, I saw two of the games. I watched a little, yeah. I had tried to watch as much as I could. It was hard getting up that early, but yeah, I tried to watch as much as I could. They, they played good the last two games. They're a little, they didn't look like the same team they did in the round robin. I watched all the junior hockey. I love the junior hockey. They're not spoiled brats yet, so, um, you know, and I thought Canada put on a good good show. I mean, they played well. I mean, there's, you know, other teams have good players too. Nah, I, I would have loved to, but our schedule's pretty busy and uh, we got a farm at home and whatnot, so no, not a lot of spare time. Yeah, I did. I must admit, I didn't get up in the middle of the night to watch, but I watched the, the replays. A little bit here and there, not a whole lot. Uh, we get racing quite a bit, uh, but I got to see my, uh, my son play quite a few games. There are a lot more games this year. No, because that was at like four or five in the morning. There was no shot I was watching that. <laughs> Actually, I did. We've been we've been so busy, and the the games were all at two, three, four in the morning that I, I caught a few replays. But uh, I heard that Canada lost before I even saw a highlight. So, oh well. <laughs> no, I'm not a hockey fan. No, nothing. I watched uh, about the same as I usually watch, probably about half of it, but it's, it's hard to watch when it's that early in the morning. I don't like getting up that early. I watch a little more football, but uh, you, there's a good few young Canadians out there that are doing well, and I'm glad they got some publicity out of it. Uh, yeah, I go and watch some Wolves games in Sudbury. I did. I, I was I was London Knights all the way, and I'll be there till the end of the season. I, wa I went to a couple of Guelph Storm games, um, but I didn't watch the Canada games. They were too early, <laughs> so I never watched those. But I liked watching the uh, Guelph Storm a couple times. Yeah, I actually did. I actually took in a couple of Guelph Storm games. Um, I'm, uh, now I'm a big Guelph Storm fan and obviously the World Juniors, but um, you know, it's great hockey, just too bad more people don't go to it.